Welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today, we're going to go a little bit deeper into the topic of vaccines, and we'll explain the different kinds of vaccines out there. If you haven't already watched our first video about how vaccines work, you can find it here. What everybody, really everybody should know. Let's start with a small flashback on what vaccines are. A vaccine is a biological or synthetic preparation that provides active acquired immunity to a particular infectious disease, for example, influenza. The acquired immunity protects the patient from the disease. It's not the vaccine itself that helps the patient. It's the body's reaction to the vaccine that protects one from getting sick from the infection. So what different kinds of vaccines exist and why? Let's have a look. There are several types of vaccines in use today and they typically contain dead, inactivated, or purified products derived from organisms. They all have one thing in common. They want to induce a beneficial immune response and reduce the risk of illness. Let's start with the live attenuated vaccines. Live attenuated vaccines contain weakened bacteria or viruses that can usually multiply and trigger an immune response, but usually not a disease. Attenuation is understood in microbiology to mean the targeted reduction of the pathogenic properties of a pathogen, virulence, while at the same time its ability to reproduce is retained or only slightly reduced. An example of attenuated vaccines is the oral polio vaccination, or OPV. In comparison to inactivated vaccines, attenuated vaccines produce a stronger and more durable immune response with a quick immunity onset. An inactivated vaccine, also sometimes called a dead vaccine, is a vaccine consisting of virus particles, bacteria, or other pathogens that have been grown in a culture and then killed to destroy disease producing capacity. Examples include the IPV polio vaccine and most influenza vaccines. Toxoids are detoxified toxins from pathogenic microorganisms. These vaccines are used in cases in which it's not the pathogens themselves, but as in tetanus and diphtheria, mainly they're toxins that cause the symptoms of the disease. Toxoid vaccines are known for their efficacy. Not all toxoids are from microorganisms. For example, Crotalus atrox toxoid is used to vaccinate dogs against rattlesnake bites. A subunit vaccine is a vaccine that presents one or more antigens to the immune system without introducing pathogen particles, whole or otherwise. The antigens involved can be in any molecule and do not need to be a protein subunit. The word subunit simply means the antigen is a fragment of the pathogen. Just like inactivated vaccines, the vaccine is completely dead and is therefore less risky. For example, the subunit vaccine against hepatitis B virus is only composed of the surface proteins of the virus. A conjugate vaccine is a type of vaccine which combines a weak antigen with a strong antigen as a carrier so that the immune system has a stronger response to the weak antigen. A heterologous vaccine, also known as a Janarian vaccine, is a type of live vaccine where one pathogen is introduced in order to provide protection against a different one. The vaccines are pathogens of other animals that either do not cause disease or cause mild disease in the organism being treated. An example, the historical administration of cowpox, vaccinia, to protect against smallpox, variola, by Jenner in 1796. An mRNA vaccine, or RNA vaccine, is a novel type of vaccine which is composed of messenger RNA coated in lipids so it's able to enter the cell. Among the COVID-19 vaccines are a number of RNA vaccinations under development to combat the COVID-19 pandemic, and some have received emergency use authorization. We'll come back to mRNA vaccines in another video about COVID-19 vaccinations. In addition to these vaccines, from our overview, there are also other experimental vaccines that we can't go into here. But we hope we've given you a brief introduction to the different types of vaccines. See you next time. Bye. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.